welcome everyone so now that we have learned a uh, few things about geometric progression let's start to play with it so we ask a similar question what we asked in arithmetic progression chapter so we are given two numbers let's say a and b now can we insert any number of terms that we want in between them let's say g1 g2 and so on up to gn so can we insert these numbers can we insert uh, these n numbers in between the two given numbers a and b such that this thing will form a geometric progression let's find out the answer so let's say this is a gp we uh, want to find these numbers g1 to gn such that this will form a geometric progression then what will be here we have our first term as a and our last term as b now this last term will be n terms we have inserted in between and we had two terms already there so n plus 1 and plus 1 that is n plus 2th term so the last term which is equal to b will be equal to n plus 2th term in this geometric progression therefore we can write the expression for t n plus 2 or this is also our last term which is equal to b so this should be equal to a times r to the power n minus 1 here n is n plus 2 so it will be n plus 2 minus 1 or it is equal to a r to the power n plus 1 so we simply now write r b by a is equal to r to the power n plus 1 now if you just take 1 by n plus 1 power on both side what do we get we get r is equal to b by a to the power 1 by n plus 1 so that's it we know the first term a we know the common ratio r therefore we can write all the terms that we want so g1 is the second term or it will be equal to a times r therefore it will be equal to a times b by a to the power 1 by n plus 1 similarly g2 is the third term therefore it will be equal to a r square or a b by a to the power 2 by n plus 1 similarly if we want to write gn it will be a r to the power n which is equal to a b by a to the power n by n plus 1 so the answer to this question is yes we can insert any number of terms we want in between these two positive numbers a and b such that it will form a geometric progression for this these two numbers a and b has to be positive let us look at an example let's say we have been given two numbers 1 and 256 now we want to insert three numbers between them let's say g1 g2 and g3 so we want to find these three numbers such that this will form a geometric progression so if we have inserted three terms then this is four this is fifth so there are five terms in this and the fifth term or the last term is 256 therefore we have t5 or the first t5 would be ar to the power 4 right and this will be equal to 256 here we have a that is first term as 1 therefore 1 times r to the power 4 is equal to 256 and now r to the power 4 to 56 r will be equal to either plus 4 or minus 4 4 4 16 16 4 64 64 4 to 56 so r can be either plus 4 or minus 4 therefore we have solved it let's say we take r as 4 then g1 will be a r that is 1 times 4 4 g2 will be a r square that is 1 times 4 square 16 g cube will be a r cube or 64 and these will be in the three terms similarly 
if we take r as minus 4 then g1 will become a r minus 4 g2 will become a r square 16 g3 will become minus 64 and yeah so these are the two cases that can happen so either we can insert 4 16 and 64 between 1 and 256 so one case is 1 4 16 64 256 this will be a gp or we could also insert minus 4 16 minus 64 and 256 so here the common ratio would be 4 and here the common ratio would be minus 4